Hi guys, welcome to the Sofa Sessions. Uh, I'm here with the Brad of Mother Kelly's, one of our favourite bars in East London. Uh, but the two beers we have today were not bought at Mother Kelly's. They were brought by uh, a, a man of darkness, a secret source, because uh, you've got hold of two incredibly special beers. We are pitting two of the best IPAs in the world against each other. Keeping the theme of the wrestling we did in our video about double IPAs, which you can uh, watch by clicking on Brad's face. We have a bottle of Pliny the Elder, and we are pitting it against a can of the alchemist Eddie Topper. Which are we cracking first, Brad? I'm literally shaking. I, I, this is the one I've been more, more I've known about this for longer, I'm more okay. excited about Pliny. Let's start with the Pliny. So Pliny, an 8% mm. double IPA. Uh, brewed almost by accident for a special festival. Pliny uh, traditionally didn't really do IPAs, but this beer was so good they just had to keep brewing it. It's a lovely golden tone, isn't it? It's a, yeah, gorgeous golden colour. Loads of loads of head is sticking around. Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's a well-made beer. It's got some protein to it. Let's get the aroma. very well balanced I mean it's not it's not huge yeah it doesn't smack you in the face but no. it's got some some candied orange some melon a bit of spice to it maybe maybe yeah. cinnamon or it's something a little bit Christmassy yeah, a little, maybe. little bit yeah uh, it's, it's a drier smell than I expected for what I thought I mean I didn't think it was going to be like a real hot bomb because I know that it's meant to be a very balanced beer but yeah well, let's dive in cheers cheers buddy amazing That is smooth. It's so smooth. It's um, it, 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 it doesn't, it's not pointy, is it? It's not like it's going off in one direction or another. It's all it feels so well rounded yeah, and, as it, you say, smooth. It's, it's like a wave. It's like you yeah. get this big hoppy thing going on. This big melon, and you get that orange pith, and it's kind of sweet and pithy, and then it just uh, ah, yeah. just sort of sighs before a, li a little bit of hoppy bitterness at the yeah, end. Yeah, a little bit of bitterness. I guess they've, what they've done is balance the bitterness and the alcohol so well, so that yeah. neither of them hit home. At 8%, you'd expect a little bit of booze, and with the amount of hops they've had to use, you'd expect mm. a bit of bitterness. But you don't get either, it's just perfectly balanced. That's it. I wouldn't say it's, it, it, subtle is, is not the right word, really, but refined, I think, yeah. is, is the way. I've never tasted an IPA like that, because I've never tasted an IPA that took all the things that make it great, that hot bitterness, that little bit of booziness, that little bit of sweetness, but that dry finish that's done it without you ever being able to go, well, that's a dry IPA, that's a sweet IPA, that's a hobby IPA. I don't know what that is, which is the joy of it. It's everything. Mm. It's everything to all men. Mm. Stunning. But we've got one more beer to go. Man. So the Alchemist Heady Topper. Uh, it comes in the kind of can that in the UK we'd think that Foster's came in. Um, yeah. But that just means that you and I get a bit of bang for our buck. Uh, it's from Vermont. Um, they only brew one beer, the Alchemist. Wow. They, they are so set on making this perfect, they don't brew another. That's dedication. That is dedication. That's amazing. Here we go. This, this is a big moment. That crap. <gasps> oh, oh. Okay, that looks very different already. It's simultaneously sweeter and danker. Yeah, it's got more hop and dankness. Yeah. Wow. Bitterer. Yeah. For a start. Yeah. Hoppier. Much, much more pithy. Yeah. Much more orange rind, much more astringency to it. Um, significantly less balanced, but the mouthfeel much more smooth from the fact they haven't filtered it. Yeah. Um, 
I, I've got a little bit of either hop or boost burn, burn on the way down. Burn going on? Um, you think it's smoother? I, th I think in the mouth it feels creamier, but in terms of the flavours, definitely yeah. not. Much less balanced, much more. Whoa. Yeah, it's more it's more carbonated, I guess, isn't it? It's more yeah. um, fizzy on the old tongue. It's got it's got a sherbetiness that we experienced with some of the double IPAs. Uh, a kind of um, it kind of leaps up in your face. It fills your nose with that kind of all-encompassing fruit. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's called Heady Topper. It is. It's it's heady by it nature. It is heady by nature. Yeah, absolutely. This might be the one that is more like typical West Coast super IPA class defining job. Yeah. But for me, well, 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 well. Uh, no decisions uh, yet. Okay. But it says drink from the can. Ah. So that's what we should do. We haven't done it. So after you, sir. Men behaving badly style. <laughs> Where's Caroline Quentin? Of well, the well, alchemist. To me, it feels like it's got more, more oomph coming out of the can. It I'm does. not quite sure why that would be. Why is that, Johnny? I think that's genuinely sound advice there from the what's, can. What's happened there? I'm, I, I'm I don't very know. I mean, confused by that. So when you drink from a can, it's a bit like doing this with a glass. It's holding your nose yeah. until it's in your mouth. So it's restricting that that citrusy but ever so slightly dank aroma. But man, that hit me around the chop. Yeah, yeah, it feels way more powerful somehow. Maybe it's just the way the the beer enters your mouth. It's a magical can. I it's think a magical it, it can. Enchanted it somehow. I don't know. So I think I saw the way that you were going. I think you were going for this, and then we drank it from the can. Yeah, I mean, uh, this guy. If we're using the sort of wrestling terminology, we're bringing that on from the last video. This is all guns blazing, coming out of the corner. Guns are up, ready to roll. Ready, all the punches coming out the door. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's what that's about. And so, and so this guy, Pliny, he, he's ducking and diving. He's, he's dodging those punches. Yeah. He's waiting for his moment. He's, he's good on his feet. He's balanced. Yeah, yeah, balanced. And then he smacks him with a sucker punch. And you, you swallow and you go, Jesus, that's well made. Damn. You cannot fault that. No. And all the other beers sort of just just fall in front of him. So it's a KO. It floors you. It's, it, yeah, it does. I was when I first drank that, and I think if you look back, and if I haven't edited it out, I was kind of speechless, and so were you for the first yeah. the first couple of. You're like, I cannot make him tell that because there's so much going on, but it's so concentrated. Yes. Um, I think I think Pliny lives up to the hype much better than Heady Topper. This guy, Pliny, he came up with the name Cumulus Lupulus, the botanical name for hops. And it's, it's, it's almost historical, something about this beer. It's just untouchable. I loved it. Um, to Pliny. To Pliny. To the alchemist. Uh, and long live hops.